one who looks like you know a Hogwarts student. Now let's see who she is. Let me invite Kun Orani s i c h a y a p o n please. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you going um, to cast a spell yes. on someone? <laughs> I'm Orani s i c h a y a p o n or you can call me for short, POM. I'm from the Bell Chemistry Department from Faculty of Science, k o n k a n University, from k o n k a n All right, k u n p o m I like your outfit, by the way. So, <laughs> so whenever you're ready, yes. off you go. Yes. Okay, the topic that I will show you today is about some. Some story that is you can imagine with me. So, kiss, toy to the fantastic story. Have you ever been ill from infectious disease? Yes, I am the cause of it, because I am the dark lord of the pathogenic bacteria. Who has killed thousands of people with my evil power? I will show you my cell. This is my cell statue, and I keep my life here, and no one cannot fight and destroy me, because I produce the biofilm c o f e r o n myself to escape from the enemies. And all of you don't tell anybody that my cell is hidden here. All through, this is the g o d e n age of the bacterial lord, and people are in the dark lord because of him. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel, because in the other part of the world, still had our hero. t a d a m I'm a silver. I will tell you about my silver family. Long and long times ago, my silver ancestor. Was being used a container of drinking water. Some people soak a silver coin in the glass of milk before drinking, because they believe in a silver power that is a natural medicine that can protect them from the bacterial lord. Have you ever heard about him? He has killed thousands of people. How evil he is! But however, so thankful to the new era of the bio nanotechnology, when the scientists regenerate me into new life. He changed me from a silver into a very, very tiny size that's called nano scale. And when I'm in this size, they call my name a silver nano particle man, and I can release my magical silver iron power. Not only they give me a stronger power, but they also tell me about a secret journey to go to kill d a r Lord too. So I go along the road and fight for his castle. And I can see something is over there. Can you tell me what it's? It's a statue. We can s t a n d for you, answer. Hi, dude. Let's go date. No, no silver. No, don't kill me. <coughs> My silver can easily attach and destroy his cover biofilm, and then it can attach outside the cell. And it can sneak inside the cell, and rapidly destroy, destroy, and destroy all parts inside the cell, and it give him sudden death. Yes, don't forget me. I'm a super nano particle man who is antibacterial agent, and I can kill the dark lord of the pathogenic bacteria. Thank you so much. Oh, poor dark lord of bacteria dark on the floor! <laughs> Look at him, dark lord of bacteria. So I give it to you. <laughs> Over to you, judges. May I invite your comment, please? Um, I think to start with, very engaging presentation. I mean, the use of um, the um, props and uh, you know the whole. 
you know, storytelling is, is very effective, and then I think we, we, we could understand that very easily. Um, however, I guess I, I probably want to hear a bit more details um, from, from a scientific point of view. So, for example, you know, when you have these um, silver nanoparticles, yes. how come they can attack the bacteria, you know, compared to the other sources, you know, how come they, they are able to attach themselves to the outside and the inside? And um, I mean, you told us that, but um, I'd like to hear sort of what's the theory behind that. So why these are more um, effective in attacking the, um, the, the, the bacteria compared to, to, to other things or particles? Okay. Yeah. Oh, the main, main idea of my story? Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so. Uh, I, I want to tell everyone in a short, short time that to, to explain that zero nanoparticle is an interesting trend today. That is can show the antibacterial activities to the bacterial cells. And uh, have you ever heard about if, if we use the antibiotic for a long time, it will we will be. Uh, high relapse to, to be this, uh, some infectious disease again. But the particle particles it show, show potential activities to this, to many and a wide broad spectrum of the micro living organism. And this can to be used to be and develop it to be the good duck candidate in the future. That's a good point. You can, you know, include into a, your talk you know, the advantages of the nanoparticle compared yes. to the antibiotics. Yes. That's, you know, make more interesting and you can really make your talk very, um, you know, uh, encouraging. And one, one good thing, uh, I think you can differentiate between the metallic dots because you use the same color. So I'm not so sure the nanoparticles and the one that on bac pathogenic bacteria. Yes. Are, are these the same or are different? The, the, the one on the bacteria. Oh, the one on this bacteria yeah. I represent, it's like the nanoparticle is penetrating into the bacterial cell. Okay, but because yes. you put in the first place, so yes. I thought it should be the different one. You can put, you know, you, you can try to improve your props because it seems that there's some receptor or some proteins oh. already on the cell membrane or the cell wall of the bacteria, but you got your own nanoparticle that yes. you want to destroy the biofilm of the pathogenic bacteria. Yes. So it's quite confusing. And I understand that you, you were nervous, but you're okay, you can control your straight fright. And keep smiling next time. Okay, Have good luck. Thank you, Kim Pham, very much.